Because Camus has really, really talented runners. Mm -hmm. And um, I really just wanted to sit with them and see uh, how close I could get to the record, but the record wasn't really the specific goal. So it was, it was great to get it though. When, when did you know that you were within reach? Uh, probably um, last lap ish. We, uh, we were off pace. I needed to split like a 62 to break the record, and I was running 65s. But um, yeah, we hit 62, and then uh, I could hear the clock as I was running that last 100 and uh, knew, knew it was going to happen, even though it was just one second. I, uh, I asked him, I, he didn't know about the record, I was just like, what, what did we hit, what did we hit, because I was like a good second behind him. And uh, I was what did we hit, what did we hit, he's like, I think it was like 418, 419. So I thought it would be like 420, but yeah, 421. So I was excited, I went, went over on the field, laid down, I felt, I felt awful at the race. <laughs> I threw up multiple times, but uh, yeah, it was good after that. I was happy about it afterwards. I ran, when I like first really jumped and, and like, uh, just running, uh, I joined a club team. It's called Evergreen Storm, and um, that's when I saw like real results. I wasn't. I was pretty good sixth grade, but seventh grade's when I really, really started running well. I ran like five ten and uh, something in the eight, but it was fast. And then eighth grade went way under five, like four forty three, and uh, I I blame Storm. I blame uh, my club team club team for getting me there. So yeah, club track was the really the boost that put me here. I think to for me to hit the the eight, I'm gonna need good competition, and there's some good kids in the district to, to race. But it'll probably be at a big invite or at districts. It's probably not gonna be at a league meet. Uh, for the 400, that thing's a that's just a sprint. So I think I can do it at a league meet. Think so? That's the goal. Yep.